May 26, 2005. Crystal, can you find a filler for this spot? How's this, Alex? Thoughts for Food by Crystal Matthews. The animals came by twos and sevens, and the ark was lifted right up to heaven. Over the mountains and the continents, too, sailed good old Noah and all his crew. Today this story is told with delight of how Noah made it through his plight. But somehow the account has not been told right, for the animals by seven are left out of sight. Here they come, two by two, is all we hear, isn't that true? But what of the ones by seven they came? To lose their significance would be a shame. From the account the seven were told, were clean animals, and to not seem too bold. May I add were mentioned again later on, in two other books at God's nation's dawn. Deuteronomy and Leviticus set the record straight on what we can eat, and for those who debate, God gave us a warning that in this to obey, or he would make us for sure to rue the day. God wants to do the best for us, so why at his commands do we make such a fuss? Maybe because we are too stubborn to see that his way is best and simple as can be. Stubbornness we will find is not a good thing, and when we get sick and we start to sing, do we still expect God to answer our prayers? I think not. If I were him, I'd pretend not to care. The longer we push our way to the brink, the faster in quicksand we will then sink. Until we decide to obey God's commands, God will continue to not heal our lands. To think any different would not be very wise, no matter how hard we try to disguise. God can see what we are really doing, and that's everything but obeying his ruling. And to try and portray that God has changed his mind, so we can feel free to eat lobsters, clams, and swine is something for which we should all feel shame. For God does not change. He, of course, stays the same. That just fits like a glove, Crystal. But you're making me hungry.